Well, hello everybody. I am Shayan Danish, and this is my version of a CS101 class, or rather the first class of CS101. CS, not as in Counter Strike, but Computer Science. If you did think that was Counter Strike, that's not good for starters. And really, by the end of this video, I just want to have helped you know whether or not CS is right for you. I will just be going over why I joined CS and how a particular part of computer science really intrigued me, and hence I am here. Let's start first with why, what are some common reasons that people join CS? So this is one of my favorite questions that I ask a lot of my peers and my friends, and the answers I get usually are that there are many jobs in the CS field. There are many jobs. The jobs are high paying. They're high paying. Or a rather more common question, uh, answer rather, is that the society is moving towards more technology. So it makes sense that we move towards technology. Well, that's very fair as well. And a lesser common reason, but one that I found that is true for me, is that it's easier than becoming a doctor or an engineer. It's really easier than becoming a doctor or an engineer, in my opinion. Those are really, really hard professions. I don't want to be meddling in those. And that could be a factor why people join CS. So I will accept that these are all, obviously, they're valid reasons because the, the people who are coming to CS, they are saying that, these are reason, reasons that they came in, but they're also for sure parts and factors of why I am a computer science student and will remain so. But there's something more, and this is not what attracted me to computer science. I find many other subjects very interesting, philosophy, for example, and sure, it's not high paying, there aren't really jobs. And is it even a profession? Like, come on. But not to hate any philosophy majors and getting back on track. The reason why I joined computer science is really because of reason. Now you might be like, wait, what? So that's number one why I joined CS. Why I joined CS so that you can, you know, understand these are the reasons why I joined CS. The number one reason, number two problem solving. Now, Cheyenne, what the hell do you mean by reason? What we do in computer science, or as computer scientists, is solve problems, right? That is all we do. We use computers to solve problems, to make our lives easier and solve bigger problems that may be causing issues in someone else's life. I was looking for another word for problems. So we use computers and tech <coughs> to solve problems. But what is the approach? It's a very reason-based approach. The approach is very reason-based. That is what attracted me to computer science. I am someone who believes that there's a reason behind everything. Right? There's a reason behind everything. And if we understand the problem, the roots of it, you know, the reasons behind the problem, then we can use a logic and reason-based approach to find the answers to it, right? That is basically what we do in math. And really, computer science is just a derivation of math. This is the same thing that we do in computer science, solve problems. Now, what may those problems be? They, they may simply be problems of automation, right? We're just trying to automate some sort of labor, making robots. It could also be bigger problems of uh, environmental, environmental problems. And using computer to predict the future. Right? They could be social problems and trying to understand different demographics and how different demographics right, 
like just collecting data and analyzing that data. So there could be many, many problems that you could solve using computers. And hence why I wanted to be a computer scientist because I wanted to solve problems. And how we solve problems and the process that we follow consists of four, and this is the algorithmic process you could say, algorithmic process and how, how we really think because that's what attracted me how to think computer science gave me a way a worldview if you may to think algorithmic thinking the four four or four pillars of algorithmic thinking rather are pattern recognition pattern recognition decomposition and I'll talk a bit more about that. Abstraction. Usually we put abstraction as number one or decomposition as number one and pattern recognition as number four, but it really doesn't matter. It's not a necessarily linear process. And then algorithmic steps. So what do I mean by these terms? Let's just use a simple example that of making tea and here i will give a shout out to my first computer science teacher i took it in gcsc and in a levels and of course in university as well i'm a second year student at foss university so i took it at gcsc and this is the first example our teacher miss saika amin gave us was making tea now we know making tea is kind of like uh, so making tea first, we have to abstractly look at the problem. I don't know, someone messaged me, that rarely ever happens, but hey, mm, kind of happy, right? Well, it wasn't that sort of a message. Anyways, coming back to topic, making tea, let's abstractly look at making tea. Making tea has, it's a problem, right? And there are many things, many ingredients we require for making tea. We require water. We require so abstraction is looking at something from looking at the bigger picture bigger picture and the bigger picture here is that we want to make something we want to make you know you want to make tea that, that's really the bigger picture this isn't as complicated a problem therefore pattern uh, abstraction doesn't really apply here but abstraction is just looking at the bigger picture and ignoring ignoring details in this particular example we will be focusing more on the details and that's where decomposition comes in that we break a problem into smaller sets into smaller sets i guess it was an email not a not a message so we're going to break into smaller steps we have water so you got ingredients ingredients and under ingredients we have water and we need to boil that water we have we have tea leaves and we obviously need heat <clears throat> right and that's basically decomposition. We're making a complicated problem into smaller steps. But hey, guess what? Pattern recognition, recognizing things that we have done already, right? Already done or no, already no. Recognizing what we already know. We know how to boil water already. We know that process. So you take a kettle because we have boiled water to clean something. Your little brother's. Uh, water bottle so we know that we need a kettle we need heat and that's how we make make water <laughs> boil the water and then now that we know how we're going to make tea we will follow simply steps we will we'll write down the steps following the fourth pillar the algorithmic steps that is you know take a kettle take a kettle Put X water in, put X water in, 
and turn on heat and so on and so forth. And it's really this algorithmic thinking that pulled me into computer science. I believe this video is already a bit longer than I would have, than I would have wanted it to be. But this is the gist of why I chose CS and my affinity towards algorithmic thinking. Goodbye.